So now in this video we're going to look at the NPN bipolar junction transistor wired as a Zener diode. So I never uh, see this. I think I've only seen one example in the art of electronics, but I think it's a really cool little circuit fragment right here. So we got a 2N3904 and uh, the flat side is to the right, right there. So that means the uh, bottom pin is the emitter, arrow of the schematic there, and then we got the base right there, it's the middle pin, and the collector on top right there so it uh, lines up uh, pretty nicely with the uh, schematic there when I have the flat side to the right and as you can see those three pins here's the uh, ends of the resistive element the two end pins there and then the middle pin the pins are actually in the board this is just a jumper but uh, the middle jumper here goes to the middle pin and that's the wiper that uh, slides across that resistive element and outputs a fraction of the voltage so uh, I put uh, 10 volts here. We're actually going to adjust the voltage because we need to show that it holds the voltage not uh, perfect by any means, but uh, somewhat well when uh, after we set it, even as we change the supply voltage by quite a bit. Whereas the trim pot will change directly with uh, the supply voltage. If you set it halfway, it'll give you half of the supply voltage pretty much no matter what. So, in any case, let's look at the oscilloscope. The cable of the oscilloscope there comes to these two alligator clips. We're going to put the uh, black clip, the blue jumper, to uh, ground right there. And so our voltage will be in relationship to ground. And uh, I'll zoom in now. We saw back there uh, plenty fine. We're going to come up to uh, where the collector and the resistor meet together. And uh, there we go. So I already set it to uh, 5 volts. And before I actually adjust it, I'm going to uh, change the uh, voltage per division to uh, 2 volts. So, so it went down in half because each square now is 2 volts instead of 1 volt. And uh, there we go. If I turn this all the way down, it turns the transistor off completely. And so basically we see uh, almost 10 volts there. So we do have uh, some resistance from across the element there. So 10 kilo ohm trim pot going to pull the voltage down a little bit but we have that almost uh, 10 volts there and so we can adjust this again let's go down uh, let's just go to four why not instead of five so that's two four and we'll zoom in and you can see I got two squares per division there if I turn the dial that's five now now one so now we go up to a four so it's not quite perfectly four let's adjust it to four so now remember this is acting kind of like a Zener diode. I expect you already know how a Zener diode works before you uh, watch uh, this circuit, but it's not crucial. There you can see we set a voltage and that voltage will be used as a signal for something else. Now we'll go to the power supply and uh, so as I said before I put 10 volts on the schematic but if I go to 11 or 12 there you can see the voltage really did not change. I mean it changed just slightly but we still got uh, 4 volts right there. And now as I said before if we just took a trim pot put it across the power supply and then uh, we had the trim pot set halfway then right now it would be 6 volts and uh, if I drop the power supply to uh, 7 volts then it would be 3.5 whereas you can see it barely changed right there. So it didn't drop in half, even though we almost cut the power supply in half. We're getting closer to the voltage that we set though, so it's going to get a little worse. But uh, there you can see, you know, it held uh, pretty steadily over uh, quite a voltage change. Now we got 5, it hardly moved, even though we changed the power supply by 7 volts. We got 5 left, it's still pretty close to 4. And then of course once we get to 4 it's going to drop rapidly with the rest of the voltage. But uh, in any case... I think this is a pretty cool uh, circuit. I don't really see it though, as I said before, which uh, obviously means there's there's better options, but still, it's uh, pretty cool. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most, but uh, just watching videos helps out a ton. Thanks for that. I have links down in the description. Check them out. I'll see you in the next video.